Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about a brand new Netflix movie and the original title is actually Four Latas, but the way it's being advertised in the US and ever, several other places is just simply 4L, which evidently is the name of the vehicle they used throughout the movie. And if you'll permit me a metaphor, I feel the same way about this movie that I did about the puppy that we got a few months ago. In so much as it is undeniably fucking adorable, but at the same time I have a couple of qualms with it. And when I say that, I don't mean that this movie literally took a shit on my back porch, but I, j from a philosophical standpoint, the metaphor makes sense. I'm doing my best, people. The basic plot of the movie is it's about two older men that find out that the other friend that was kind of in their group is really, really sick. And when the three of them are young, they used to drive around in a 4L to and from the desert somewhere in northern Africa. And since the sick friend actually lives down in that area, the two older men, they find his estranged daughter, and she still has the old 4L that her father was trying to fix up. And then the three of them go on a little road trip through the desert. Now, it's like I said before, the movie is adorable. It's fun. It's cute. And normally, I would criticize the fact that we've seen a bunch of these road trip movies before, but at the same token, if it's done well, you tend to forgive that kind of thing. Case in point, if you've ever seen a superhero movie and questioned, oh, well, I wonder if he's going to fight a supervillain in the third act, it's like, of course he's going to. But if it's done well, you just kind of move past it. And this movie did it very well. Like, I bought all the relationships between all the characters, including some of the wacky ones they encounter throughout the trip. And the biggest thing that helped the movie with that is probably all the comedic bits in it. Because for the majority of the movie, all the comedic bits, it kind of centered on the three main characters and how, like, incredibly f***ed up they are. Because the movie sets up how flawed these three people are and all the comedic bits kind of make it seem like they're more human and they can like connect with one another. Which leads me to one of the negatives about the movie is that the comedy didn't feel forced throughout the majority of the time except for one character. And it's mostly to do with a character that plays a drug dealer and he was fine for actually most of his screen time but there were like two or three moments where I felt like eh that was a little sticky. I probably could have done without that. The only other problem that I had with this movie is that there's a couple scenes that happen way later in the movie that just feel really really rushed. They didn't feel forced or out of place like they shouldn't have been in the movie but it just felt like the director just kind of like brushed over those things. One of the scenes, I was just thinking to myself, okay, like, that's cute and all, but um, is this really the time and place that we can, like, dwell on something like that? Like, I don't know, I, what, why? And that scene also paved the way for something else that happens a few minutes later that felt even more rushed, and on top of that, they just kind of swept that portion under the rug. I apologize for using such vague terms, I just don't want to give away specifics because I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody. But besides those things, I had a lot of fun with this movie, despite the fact that we've seen this plot before. Because, like I said, the comedic bits worked very well, the character development worked very well, some of the characters that get introduced are kind of fun, and on top of that, the soundtrack was actually really good, and the movie had a good pace, and I liked the way it ended. Like, there's a lot of really, really good things that happened in this movie. So overall, I would say I had a pretty good experience with this movie, and I think for a score out of 10, I think I'm gonna give it something like an 8.6. Sure, the movie has a couple issues with a slight lack of originality, but overall, it was fun, and I liked the characters a lot. I think a lot of other people will like the characters too. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Have you heard of it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that other happy horse shit, and I will catch you guys later.